Hey guys, it's the channel of Lego More with another Lego review and today we have the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 and Ecto-2 set. This is based on the on the reboot film of 2016. It's set number 75828. It has 556 pieces, 6 minifigures, and it retails for $60 here in the United States. So before I get on with the review, I just want to say that this was actually the set missing from that Lego haul video. If you guys have not seen it, I've posted a, vi a video on that. Um, I contacted Lego about the whole situation. It turns out they accidentally forgot to put the set into the box when I ordered it. Um, you know, when I got Rescued from Oz in the night set, and I got this set originally ordered from there, but however, what happened was they forgot to put it in, and they said they'll ship it right away, you know, once they get it because it was out of stock right now on lego.com because i got it when it wasn't on back order but now it's on back order on lego.com so i they said they could ship it right away once they get it but i was like you know what just um give me a refund for the um set itself and i'll just go down to the lego store and pick it up so i went down to the lego store today and i picked up the set and um yeah and here we are now so i'll be getting a refund from them in the next few days or so which is very awesome because lego customer service is really fantastic and i'm really happy about that but that's my story about it but regardless still let's take a look at the set right now and first up we'll go over the box you can see the box looks pretty cool there's the cheesy 2016 movie tagline as you can see there and there is the back of the box. We also do get one instruction manual, which is that thicker paper. And the first part of it does show uh, the cast and information about the reboot film. So without further ado, let's take a look at the figures. And we'll start off with Abby Yates. And she is played by Melissa McCarthy in the film. There's her... You can see by the printing on her, it looks pretty good. And she has that PKE meter and also this uh, contraption here. And all the Ghostbusters have arm printing, which look great. As you can see there, she has a new hair piece as well. And here is her proton pack. You can see it has the black ingot piece. Now all four Ghostbusters do have this, um, do have the builds, but I only kept it on one just to show you it. So you can see a better look. There's the print on it. Here's a, just a better look at it. Here it is. The Proton Pack. Really cool build. Now all four have them, but I'm just showing you on Aunt Abby for the time being. So we'll remove the Proton Pack from the minifigure. And uh, you can see her arm printing there, there's her back and her alternate face. You can definitely see on her, so there's her legs and great minifigure overall. We are getting her in the Lego Dimension story pack for the Ghostbusters reboot. So there is uh, Abby. Next up we have Aaron. This is Kristen Wiig's character. And you can see she has the molded legs. She has the boot printing and the arm print. There's her torso. Better look there. And she does have these two traps. There's her alternate face. So she has a bit of a scared look on her face. Again, very cool figure. Next up we have Holtzman. And she is played by Kate McKinnon, who's also part of SNL. So it's nice to get another LGBT uh, actor or actress in Lego form. And uh, you can tell her hair piece is really cool. I love that new hair piece on her. Looks wacky in its own right. She does have a little gun in her hand. And like um, Aaron, she does have the molded boots. There's her back print. You can tell it has a little satchel. Some bombs on there. As you can see, there's her arm print. And there's her alternate face there. Very cool design. 
Next up we have Patty, who is played by Leslie Jones in the film. There's her arm print there, leg print, her back, and you can see her intricate hair mold. And there's her torso, you can see the P necklace there. And there's her alternate face and her back print. There's just a better look. She has the blue tool toolbox. As you can see. Next up we have Kevin. Who is Chris Hemsworth's character. He also has the arm print. No Glake printing on him though. And there's the alternate face. It looks like he's possessed, so that could be a spoiler. And there is Kevin. And then last up we have our monster. This is Mayhem. And Mayhem looks fantastic. You can tell he does have the nice wings on the back. You can see the printing on there with the red and the lime green detailing. And also on his headpiece. Better look at the head. You can see right there. Better look there. And that translucent skeleton torso. The headpiece for Mayhem as well as the wings are actually the same as the gargoyles from as the gargoyle from series 14 of the collectible minifigure series, which is the best non-licensed collectible minifigure series in my opinion. He does have the red skeleton arms and legs, which are exclusive to him. Very cool design on him. So those are the figures. Let's take a look at the Ecto-2 first before we get to the Ecto-1. So the Ecto-1, or Ecto-2, is basically a motorcycle. You can see we have a sticker right there with the Ghostbusters emblem. And Kevin is supposed to be riding this. We'll put Kevin right on. And he rides pretty good on there. And you can see the little motor in the back. And of course the white, this part appears also in the Joker Land set. Uh, for Harry Quinn from DC Comics. And it can stand up on its own, the motorcycle, but of course you gotta be careful because if you touch it, it will tip down easily. So you can definitely see the design on the, on the, on the part. So this is the motorcycle. Now let's take a look at the Ecto-1 itself. So you can see the Ecto-1 is very much different compared to the original Ecto-1 we got back in 2014. It does have the same license plate print on the front and the back. You can see we have a sticker here that says Caution. This is actually a little trunk that opens up. We'll store some things in there later. And you can see a lot of the things on here, some of them are printed. Like you can see these slope pieces here are all printed. There's the Ghostbusters print there. And this is a sticker right here. This is actually supposed to be a hearse. So there's that. You got the gadgets up on the top. What you see up here is stickers. Even this one by one tile is a sticker, which is kind of disappointing. I wish it was printed because usually they're printed. And you can see like there's a horn here. There's an engine here and it says caution. Some parts may fall off. Or it, no, it says parts may fall off. But yeah, it was pretty much close. And you can see the design on it. In the front. What I really like about it is also the red wheels you can see, and there's a little hood ornament. The doors do open in the front, which is pretty cool. And you can also remove the roof. And there's the inside. You can see the steering wheel. There's also a sticker right here. The dashboard. And what's really awesome is you can fit all four Ghostbusters in this set. So you can put Patty here. Put Holtzman here. Oops. And then put Aaron in here. Come on. And we'll put Abby in here. So that's why I really love 
So this is a major improvement over the original because you can fit all of them in here at once. You do have to remove their proton packs though. So you can also see over here we have a little storage compartment as I mentioned before. These are also stickers by the way. And you can put only one proton pack in the back though however. So that's kind of disappointing that you can only put one in there. But I would like to actually put like the little accessories that um, our heroes have in the trunk. So they can definitely go out. And you can see they all fit in there perfectly. Of course, they see a ghost. There we go. And of course, the build on it, like I said, is really nice. Just love the design on it and then of course Kevin can tag along with the Ghostbusters and then they can run into mayhem up on the car he'll appear booga 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 and then they can go out and fight the ghost the ghosts so yeah that is it for the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 and Ecto-2 set Overall, my thoughts, um, while the movie may not be as good as the original, the reboot, um, already some critics are actually liking it, which is pretty crazy. I still think this set, regardless, is a very awesome set. I love this set. It was a great build, honestly, too. It's got a lot of great minifigures. The minifigures are a huge selling point of this set. Um, you get six minifigures which for 60 bucks, which I think is a great deal. Um, the price per piece ratio is pretty good as well. And just overall, like, what you get with it is just so awesome. And it's just a, a somewhat of an improvement over the uh, original Ecto-1 from 2014, which is based on the original Ghostbusters. While that one is definitely more iconic, I think this one has a little bit more of a play value with it. So that's pretty cool, too. I just like the design of the hearse in general. It just looks really good. Oops. And just overall, it's really a great build. Even if you don't like the new Ghostbusters film, regardless, you have to admit this set is pretty awesome. And I personally think it's a great set. So overall, let me guys know what you think. Do you like this set? Do you hate this set? Uh, regarding your thoughts on the film, I personally really love this set and it was really worth getting for 60 bucks. I think it's everything really hits hard with this set. Let me guys know what you think down below and subscribe. Thanks for watching.